In this video, we're gonna be testing out the Higdon Agitator. No, this is the Agitator. In this video, we're gonna be testing out the Higdon Agit, no, it's the Pulsator. Agitator, Pulsator, Agitator. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Higdon Pulsator versus the Lucky Duck Agitator. Why don't they just call these things squirters? That's what they do. Hey, making folks and welcome to the channel if it's your first time here my name is Vinny and this channel is all about hunting and fishing we got plenty of hogs where we get out and actually do the hunting and fishing plus we got product reviews product comparisons unboxings and things so if you're in that sort of thing and you make it to the end of this video without jumping off a cliff or falling asleep or anything consider hitting that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads so jumping right into it both of these decoys are pretty much the same concept um, the Higdon I've been having for I think this is the second season maybe the third probably the second I'll lose track of time and the Lucky Duck agitator I haven't used yet fresh out the box uh, charged it up and we're gonna be testing it out today so both of these decoys pretty much the same concept they both use a bilge pump and a timer to squirt water and make them go back and forth like this to look like a full feeding live duck now first we're going to take a close look at the Higdon decoy again it's just a bilge pump right here at the bottom there's a timer inside so that it squirts I believe this one squirts like three four times and then pauses for a while fairly simple design there's not very many other parts you have the bilge pump it's connected to the body itself and this wire right here just plugs in to this plug right here at the bottom and you can hear it kick on And then when you get it home to the house, all you gotta do is you plug this into the charging port. Yeah, it comes with a plug with a little same adapter right there. You plug that in and that's it. You're charging it up. Very simple design. Uh, you got your spot right here for your Texas rig to throw your uh, decoy weights. So as you can see, there ain't much to it. Not much of a hassle. Uh, the only issue is if you do hunt in brackish water or salt water like, like we do most of the time, this, uh, you can see right here, this metal getting a little brown right there. I've already had to replace one of these plugs because so that salt water eats it up. But you can get some kind of like dielectric grease type stuff to put it on top and uh, that'll prevent that from happening. Now again, the Lucky Duck, very similar. You got your bilge pump, it's got a timer and it squirts water, makes the thing do this, same thing. Now I will say, judging from the pictures online when you buy this thing to what it actually looks like in person, the paint job on this thing looks a whole lot better than it did on the internet. Online it looked like a cheap rinky dink toy but this thing actually looks pretty good it seems to be pretty decent quality um, the only complication with this is is not as simple as just plugging that one in this one you have to unscrew I think no wait how does this go it has a magnetic body you can take that off and then you unscrew this right here to get inside and then you have to plug it in there's a spot right there where you can plug it in the charger or you can actually unplug this and the charger comes with a plug that you can fit in there to charge it in so you got to kind of break it down but this one also has a spot for the remote for the lucky duck remote this is just a oh <laughs> this is just a dummy plug that you pull out and you put the actual receiver in for the remote if you're going to use a remote so that's something that the uh, higdon pulsator doesn't have is a remote capability but you just put it back in plug it back in screw this back on oh don't cross thread it because uh, that would suck and then you just stick it back on the magnetic body there is a little groove right here if you can see that there's a little groove right there and a groove right here that it fits in where you just line it up and it's in position and ready to go to turn it on there is a switch right there that you can turn on and off and there's the pause that's the timer i was talking about just like the higdon now of course the higdon doesn't have an on and off switch you just have to unplug it all right so now we're gonna throw them in the water see what they look like but before we do if you're getting any kind of value whatsoever maybe entertainment or education or otherwise make sure you hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it, it lets me know if i'm doing a good job helps out the channel a lot and if you want to check out uh, either one of these products i'll leave links in the description below where you can check those out <laughs> Now, if you also notice, the Higdon Pulsator comes with this little piece of tube and makes a more finer spray, but that can be removed and it'll be more like that. And I'll uh, 
I'll take that out in a second to show you the difference. Now there's one thing I noticed now that I have them both out. The Higdon Pulsator pulsates four times before it stops with the timer. Whereas the Lucky Duck one, it's a kind of more of a random timer, but it does twice, three times, and four times, different intervals. So that's the Higdon Pulsator without the uh, extra little hose piece. It's a thicker splash, I guess you could call it, and a more erratic motion. Whereas when the hose is on, it's more of a smooth, gradual motion. That's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, if you prefer one more than the other. They both seem to do a pretty good job at uh, causing agitation in the water. Uh, both sling water up in the air. So essentially they do the same thing. Uh, basically it's just a preference on how they're made and uh, the simplicity of one compared to the other. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do appreciate you watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, catch you on the next one.